Hello everybody, my name is Gendemar, welcome back for another video of NHL 19, the franchise mode. We're gonna continue this series. Um, last time we played, we basically tried to make the playoffs. We did not make it. We, were, we weren't too far ahead of it, but uh, we lost way too many games in the beginning of the season in order to be able to clinch the playoffs. The beginning of the season is always when you want to start uh, start off your season with a big big wins because then after it gets tough uh, it's me it gets more tough and difficult to get wins during the season so we we basically man we basically played really bad in the first half of the season boys and that hurt us really bad the second half we actually played really good and uh, and it tells us all about it in the stats for our best player in the 99 overall basically we picked up as Henry Ecker in Henry Ecker and basically he started off playing not too well he wasn't playing like he was sh supposed to be playing like uh, he had like five or ten points me maybe even behind the number of games played which is not good in the NHL for someone who should be doing like 110 plus points per year uh, with the stats he has so basically he ended up going back all right almost had almost 50 50 uh, one point behind that's okay boys we've got the draft coming up we're gonna do the draft in this video we're gonna do the free agents just like uh, last time of course uh, already took care of the scouts and everything so all we need to do is sim to the draft boys see what we can get this year um, unfortunately uh, we might actually get a chance to first overall pick without having to trade for it without having to cheese it like last last time so let's let's see if we got we're gonna get it boys we're first gonna have a look at uh, the uh, team that wins the cup so basically it's Tampa Bay the lightning uh, wins the cup boys the, the, the Tampa Bay Lightning wins the cup I don't even know if it was it them that uh, I don't even know remember who won the cup last year but all right let's see what we got Vegas got Vegas has two draft picks in the top 10 boys he's got the first overall and the sixth overall which is crazy in itself Montreal is the fourth overall what the hell holy Okay, Florida. Okay, where are we? We got fucked. Yeah, we. M oh my God, we got messed up. We lost the draft for the the draft. Uh, the uh, yeah, we lost the um, the thing for the draft, boys. So that's not good at all. We are all the way down at twelve. Uh, let's do look at the retirements forwards wise. We've got uh, Marian Osa, which is the only legend that uh, took. Is retirement this year other players like Colin uh, Plekanec, Jokinen, Erat you can see all of them all right defenseman wise we've got nobody basically Sedenberg and Z nothing and goalies we've got nothing at all all right so I just want to quick take a quick look did we, did we lose anybody on our team we lost a uh, Matt Bolson, which he was in the minors, so not a big loss. Did we lose any goaltenders? Nope. So we only lost Matt Molson. Matt Cullen, Ron Enzi, and Brooks Orpik are going as scout, are retiring and becoming scouts, boys. So let's see the draft. Let's see what we got, boys, what we can do this year. I'm um, hoping that we can have a great draft just like last year. Well, last year we kind of cheated in order to have a great draft. This year, we're the world 12 position, so that means we're not going to be able to get first overall, boys. I'm telling you for sure right now, we are not going to get the first overall. We're way too far. Well, maybe we could. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to. We'll see how it goes, because we're kind of a little bit too far in terms of drafts in order to do it. So first things first, you already know. One, two, three, four, five. So we can go all the way up to seven, probably. I don't even know if we can go up to seven because in these types of places, it's becoming harder and harder.
to go there so let me i just want to look where it's got us so we might have a chance actually because it's pretty close so rookie skaters do we have anybody that could be interesting for them like a top nine or something top nine at this point are not going to be enough you're going to need top sixes and top fours boys so maybe if i can trade this guy right here he's not going to become anything so um who is he todd bales trade him up trade him up boys for the seventh position not enough see this is the point where you see that um, players are not enough i might need to get the uh, top nine in there too gotta cheese the system a little bit boys nope it's not working so a little bit too far here a little bit too far boys as you can see already uh it's too much to ask so we're gonna go all the way to nine maybe ninth uh they're gonna want someone they're probably gonna want someone if they don't want to at nine if they don't want to trade anybody at nine uh then that means we're gonna have to keep our draft the way it is or, or pick the way it is boys so let's just do this the same player same player again see if we got see now it says that we are have a better chance let's try out i guess let's try out Eken. let's try out it no all right well it's actually tyler bells the problem see here's the thing maybe it's just the player in itself maybe that's just the player they just don't want him in in particular maybe if i can get these two uh filling up but the value just isn't where it needs to be compared to the value is kind of the same maybe i'm gonna try I, i'm gonna try it boys a little bit more they said they don't want none of him uh maybe they want someone like like a better player like the, this one downing maybe no all right they don't want nothing we're gonna have to keep our draft pick boys let's see the sim right here the first ever draft pick overall elite high lafreniere boys all right we're all the way at 12 so we're not gonna get a good drafting in itself we are gonna get an elite don't worry boys um I'm, do, I'm so good at the drafts so good at scouting that uh basically you always get a uh in the first round pick an elite with me but we're not gonna get uh like a 70 or something someone that's really ready for the first year uh, in the first year you know we're not gonna get that so see what we missed on see someone like this these guys right here we're gonna miss on that basically so see you elite we got another medium elite right there top six montreal basically fucked up right there they could have gotten someone really good they chose another centerman high top six so montreal big time mistake right there two medium top sixes another uh, no two medium three mediums in a row basically elites now byfield in my own franchise mode i have him with the pittsburgh penguins and he's a really good player boys really good player overall uh, he's a actual he's a passer so he's an assist man right there i already know some of them all right let's go ahead and choose our first draft pick boys for this year we got straka right here so defensive defenseman 18 years of age He's set to be in eight, uh, 17 position, boys. So you can see medium elite uh, assured. Uh, competition is A+, plus, so he's going to be a good player. What, uh, he's, he plays like Zeno Shara. I can see that with his height. Um, B potential, so you can see. So that means it's probably in the 70s. It's not in the 80s. So I, I would say 70s. I would say he's probably in his 60s or something overall. So let's just take a look. Do we have anybody in here? Oh my god, boys. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh shit. Look at what we found. Look at what we just found. 
two medium franchises goaltenders oh my goodness now granted there might be franchise goaltenders uh, this one is just like Carey Price. Oh my god, a golden door like Carey Price for the team, boys. I don't have a choice now. I don't have a choice. I gotta pick him, boys. I gotta do it. I'm gonna. He's a gem too, so I'm gonna pick him. All right, Prost, you're in. 64 overall medium franchise goaltender. Oh my goodness, I just got a steal, boys. Not really still because it's a first draft pick, but we got a new carry price and he's on our team. Holy shit. I was not ready for that for, for franchise players. And we can probably get the um, second franchise goaltender too, boys. We can probably get him if he doesn't get picked uh, first. So let's see if he gets picked at all. Medium elite right there. Another medium elite in Straka. So Straka was uh, 63. So I, I chose well with the goaltender right there, boys. I really chose well. We got we to gotta sell ourselves our future goaltender, boys. We're set for the Nets, for sure. Okay. Let's see what we got. We still got the other medium franchise. If it doesn't work out with the other one, we, it could work out with this one, boys. Now this one doesn't have any comparison and he's not as good as the other one. Uh, D, so B, C and D. I'd say, let's see what we got right here. So B minus, I'd say it's uh, 65 probably. Um, I, I'd probably say it's 65. So say 65 plus 65 and uh, a D would be, I don't know, D would be like, 40s or something I'd say he's in the 50s so this goldie is probably in the 50s boys Arkhipov uh, Malik we've got another goaltender I'm not gonna pick up a medium a go uh, an elite goaltender though boys I might need to pick up someone like this guy though who is a medium elite all right and he's Jaden Bartley basically the offensive defenseman 17 years of age so he's got a, another year uh, in there in the minors probably and he already has some good skills overall probably in the 60s as well boys if I'm not mistaken we've got some low leads right here but um, I yeah I really want to pick this guy up right here so a franchise is set to go yes where are we we're in the uh, 30 seconds overall so we can get him really far boys we can keep him for really far right now i feel like we should probably get someone that's closer because this one is 58 do we get any i want to look boys do we get anybody else yes in, in second place we, we do get somebody else all right let's make the pick then see what we're gonna do boys is we're gonna make the pick we're gonna choose somebody that's actually um, that's actually in the closer so an elite a guaranteed elite that might be closer to the drafts uh, in the draft itself so 104 not really We've got top sixes right here but I don't want to take top sixes so nothing really doesn't look like it uh, we got a 47 right here 32nd right here 37 you know what i'm not gonna make any chance put any chances we're gonna put bartley right here we're 15 seconds left boy so let's pick him up let's see what we got uh this is the yeah so bartley 55 overall not not bad medium elite boy so he's gonna you already know he's gonna grow quite a lot uh 17 years of age too so he's got uh one or two years in the minors so that's really good for us let's uh, send to the other draft pick did we miss any anybody like um doesn't look like we miss on anybody boys we take a took a, a really a great pick we've got two great picks right here this is going to be our year boys it's going to be our year now uh now it's probably time no it's fifth 43rd overall so 
I want to get these medium elite sports. I should probably get them. But it kind of would be cheap to have a bunch of goaltenders. Just draft a bunch of goaltenders, you know. I feel like it's kind of cheap to do that. I kind of want to get forwards and demons. Goaltenders, I don't want to be all the way up on goaltenders now. I don't know, boys. I feel like I should probably pick up somebody like this. These two guys right here. Now, this guy is a gem, apparently. He's got no one in particular that's against him. He's not that good. He's going to be in the 50s. This guy might be in the 60s. Uh, high 50s, probably. High fi low 50s, high 50s right there. Low elites. Yeah, he's got nobody. Uh, maybe a sniper. Uh, right wi left wing. I don't know, boys. I feel like Peterson. Be uh, I feel like getting Peterson, just because he's um, he's got a gem on him. So yeah, low leads, forty-seven overall. Actually, he's not even in the low fifties. It's actually forty-seven overall. So he might never play. He's yes, he's seventeen years of age, but um, if he doesn't get in the fifties, boys, in the mid fifties or fifties at all during the next season he's never gonna play in the NHL you can already tell well he'll play eventually probably but in the his 30s or something so it's a good pick in itself because it's it's trade value other than that it's not uh, it's not gonna get you anywhere so uh, we did miss out on Arkhipov the other medium franchise a goaltender boys but we did miss out on him just for for from two picks basically so we almost got him too we could have picked him up instead boys but felt like going for i already got my my french medium franchise goaltender now so i don't need to go take another look at the other one so yeah we're good on that we do have this guy basically he's going to be a low late too i got a feeling he's going to be one um He's not going to be that good, so he's going to be a 40s as well. This guy's going to be in the 50s. I don't know, boys. Let's pick Atcher because we already know he's going to be in the 50s, 17 years of age. We're picking young guys, boys, that are not ready yet for AHL or NHL. They're going to be playing the minors for sure. So, yeah, he's, he's fine. He's fine overall. 54. He's actually going to play in the NHL eventually so he's good he's decent so we got the, the the good thing is we got elites everywhere boys and now we're in the fifth round we're in the fifth round so let's see what we can get like really let's see what we can get in the fifth round now we've got a couple of medium we got two medium elites apparently but they're not well scouted and I don't feel like it's the truth nope it's not gonna be the truth with them um I prefer not taking any chances and going for the guarantees, boys. The guarantees. So, Va Vasilev, top four. He's going to be a top four. He's probably going to be, I'd say, f with the Ds in there in the defense, he's probably going to be in 50s. So, he's going to be in the 50s. Uh, yeah, a high 50s. So, a high 50, 58 overall, uh, top, top four. All right, really good. Really good boys. We got some trade value out of those. Those are the players we can trade during the draft picks, boys. Um, so that's really good for us. Let's see what we got else. We got anything really. We got some top nines. Now do I want low top nines or not gonna give me anything? So at this point, what we want to do is we gotta try. We gotta try our luck with these guys right here. It's 19 years of age. No, I'm not I'm gonna take him, but 18 years of age. Well, one of these 19, so I'm not gonna pick him up. Uh, what about his? No, all right, so the only option is right here this guy, uh, 40s, probably. All right, 40s, low 50s. Let's see what we got. Let's see if he is what he is. Uh, top six, so he's still a top six nonetheless, so that's really good. Right, we gotta try to get better options. Okay, that was our last one. So our, our lowest was the top four and the top six at the very end. 
Otherwise, we got a bunch of tops uh, of elite sports, which is really good. And our first overall was a franchise player's boys. Actually better than Ecker when you think about it, because Ecker has the elite potential. Yes, he's 99, but... Oh my god, I'm so excited to have our goaltender, boys. Alright, we got uh, we got two scouts, so we need to resign. And let me resign them uh, and take care of the contracts, boys. So here is all the players we need, boys. Uh, we are getting back. Shara's getting back daily. Uh, Bertuzzi, Menta, Ter Thierry. Uh, Pimple doesn't want to come back, so I'm going to have to look that up. Turgeon. There we go. We got all these players. Let me see. We're good. So I got to look into Pimple. Basically, what we're going to need, boys. So where's Pimple but right here? Where is he? He's right here. But this guy doesn't want to come back. He's in uh, minors, basically. You are going to come back, buddy. And you're not gonna uh, you're not gonna say otherwise, all right? You're gonna get your two-way contract. If he doesn't want it, um, I guess I'm just gonna get rid of him, maybe. Oh, okay, he wants to come back now. All right, good. So let's just sim to the free agency. We're good. We got everyone. All the scouts are good, boys. Everyone's under contract. Basically, what we the only thing we need is uh, gonna be either top two or top four. We got place for a top two or top four defenseman, boys. Uh, depending on what we have in the free agents, I guarantee you there's probably going to be a top two available. So if we can get a top two and really take our team to the next level, that's going to be great. I'll also sign my franchise goaltender, boys. So let's look at what we got here. Uh, I want the um, UFAs only. So we've got uh, some seconds right here. Nothing, uh, not a big all-star in the uh, for the sentiments. We've got uh, uh, same thing for left wing. Right wing has an all star in itself. Uh, that enough. So an all star for a first rounder for a f um, first liner for the uh, the draft. Uh, not the draft. The uh, free agents right here. So that's cool. And defense wise, this is where we want to look. So we've got two options. Uh, we're gonna get a top two for sure, boys. So. Either Petriangelo or Yossi. Now, Petriangelo is great. I already got him for my own franchise mode. So, and I think I chose him over Yossi as well. Just because they're basically the same age, as you can see. Basically the same age. Both are two-way forwards. Uh, one uh, has more teams that want him, but that doesn't matter. Uh, one costs less, and that's about it. So, really, um, I would say... Like, go for Petriangelo, absolutely, because yeah, he's got the best stats. Petriangelo has the best stats, boys, so I'm going to pick him up. We've got, we got to get, we're going to have to pay him big time. So, pay him 8.175, uh, boys, for seven years. He's going to be there for seven years, a big veteran for our team. And that's all we needed, really. Goaltender-wise, we do have an elite, Br Brendan Olby. And uh, Corey Crawford, too, are available for the free agents, which we are not going to get because we already got everything else we needed, boys. So let's just sim until the fifth day. Basically, this is around that time where uh, the big players sign. So let's just sim until then. Nobody. Okay, the sixth day. Let's get him up, boys. There we go, Petriangelo. I already knew he was going to sign. I mean, with that contract, that amount of years, he's going to sign for sure, boys. So we got Petriangelo. We can go ahead and take a look at where the other players went in the league. So where they wanted to, they basically went to sign. So let's see what we got. So we got Zach Bogosian, all right, Hoffman to Anaheim. Corey Crawford, Corey Crawford is going to Nashville. So he's going to play with PK, boys. That's interesting. That's interesting because he's going to play with um, Pekka Rene as well. That's a very, uh, very interesting. They're going to have two elites in there. Uh, Tori Krug, Michael Grunlund, uh, Evgeny Dadonov is going to... 
Tampa Bay Lightning. Okay, Tampa Bay is very dangerous. They just won the cup and they're getting that enough as well. All right, boys, that's going to be a very dangerous team. We got Pentriello, of course. Vancouver got Roman Yossi. Brandon Olby is going to Nashville. Hey, hold on now. So Nashville is going to have three elite goaltenders. What are they going to do? What are they going to do with them? They... They have Olby, Crawford, and Pekka Rene. What the hell's going on here? What? Did I miss something? Or how, are gonna, how do they expect to play all these three goaltenders? Like they gotta s s trade two of them. So they're not gonna. They're seriously gonna play Corey Crawford as a backup. These guys are crazy, boys. I would never do that to that, a, a guy like that or a goalie like that. But oh well, boys. I'm not. Uh, I'm not the. I'm not the coach here. I'm not the third GM. They know what they're doing, I guess. I'm not the one who makes the playoffs, so I can't say nothing. But god damn, boys. No, I don't want to trade anybody. So we got our top two. We've got a bunch of. Elite and fr a franchise goaltender as well. So a bunch of elites and a franchise goaltender. It's really good for our team in the future. Now that's going to spam us with a bunch of trades. Boys, I'm going to refuse all of them. So basically, we're doing good. We've got a future ahead of us. A really big future. We've got lots of prospects, boys. We're just going to make sure to grow them the right, the right way. I think the way the right way to do it is I already signed the, the two low elites in the right wing position I think or left wing whatever uh, that I got this year for the draft I signed them because I think we need to sign the low elites we need to play them in their position in order for them to grow better I think that's how it works we need to play them uh to sign them and play them as soon as possible so that they can grow faster maybe and the medium elites or franchises you want to keep them playing in the ohl or whatever wherever they come from boys you want to keep them in the minors because they're going to grow better when they're playing it, it out there so but i did sign anyways my medium franchise because for the goaltenders it's kind of different yes he has a medium franchise but also he has a other and the goaltenders grow faster when they you play them uh up better than they're supposed to be playing you give them more time basically so say there's a backup goaltender you want him to grow you need to put him in the start as a starter in order to make him grow so let's look at our roster moves. See what we're what type of trades we're gonna have to make if we're gonna have to make any. We've got one, two, three, four right here. All right, we got Rasmussen. So he's a medium. So you can, as you can see, the lows are the ones you can uh, you kind of want to play. Like you want to play the mediums in their position. The lows you can basically play them wherever. As long as they play uh, right away. So medium. I'm going to keep Rasmus in the fourth line. For now. Um, do I have anybody in the system? Oh my god. Alright. This is going to be interesting boys. So. We've got this right here. We've got Joe Veleno. And Tur uh, Turgeon as well. So. we got four. Three. Uh, basically four fourth liners. Now I'm going to have to trade uh, Nielsen. So I'm going to have to get rid of Nielsen, boys. And um, yeah, that's not good. So maybe, like, there we go. Get rid of Nielsen. This is what it's going to look like. Cancel that. We're going to have to play... I want to play Joe Valeno. So who's the best option right here? Alright, Turgeon is a top 9. So we're getting rid of Turgeon and Valeno, boys. Instead, yeah... Yeah, there's no, like, none of them are grinders or power forward. So, we're getting rid of Turgeon. We're going to uh, keep Rasmussen and Veleno in our team. Turgeon and Nilsson are going out. They're, they're going to go out, boys. Uh, left wing. We got one, two, three, four. Seems good like that. 
So he's a he's like a second liner. I was expecting him to keep to stay as a third liner, boys. That's good enough. We don't have anybody. That's good. One, two, three, four as well for here. Menta grow up to a first liner, boys. That's really good for us. All right, and we don't have anybody here. We do have actually now. What I can do is probably instead get um, Nilsson. Nilsson's gonna be our death forward, boys. He's going to be our death forward. He can do that since he's a uh, exact exact fourth liner, so we're good. Uh, defense wise, we've got one, two, three. So Shara is basically our top four, but we've got our top two with Petriangelo, so that's good. One, two, three, four, five. A daily, you're not playing, I guess. I signed him again because he was a death, but I guess he's not going to play. So five, either one of these two. So a death forward. I want to play the one that has the less potential. So I think I'm just going to play. I'm just going to play um, Eketz because he's got the less potential. He's the one that has less chances of growing. So Ronek, I want him to grow. I want him to play in his position. A death forward. I'm going to have to. I'm going to need him to play in the. AHL boys so we're good on that oh actually one two three four five six it's actually gonna play six uh yeah that's not good at all is it oh, I, I guess I need to play them both so uh, Ronex gonna play uh, in the top six position even though he's not supposed to and it gets gonna play a death position and goaltender wise We've got Probovsky, of course, and Jonathan Bernier, boys. And there is really is 64 overall franchise, media franchise, boys. And uh, Pitt, which is another great prospect from us. Like, we, we got him in the fifth round pick. as uh, a starter, medium starter. So, he's another goaltender. He actually grew quite a lot. So, that's really good for him. So, we're good. So, the only thing we need to do, boys... We gotta make a trade and it's actually for Turgeon. So we gotta trade Turgeon and get Nilsson in there so he's gonna be our death forward. So Rasmussen, alright, so Turgeon, you're getting out of here. We are gonna get we're gonna need to get some settlements. So we can probably get a prospect settlement in there in exchange. So let's see what we can do. What kind of trades we can do, boys. Let's just do best lines for now. Because we're going to do, right away, we're going to do the trades we need to do. Set the captains. See if we got to do, change anything. So Larkin, still the captain, Ecker and everything. Shara is now our, uh, is our alternate. I'm going to keep it as it is. We're good. Let's see what we got. Let's make, uh, let's see for a trade, boys. I'm going to look for a trade really, really quick for Sergeant and uh, talk to you in a second. All right, I think I got what I needed. Uh, basically, they have the same amount of uh, value. So we've got two champion teams trading for each other, uh, two prospects. One is better. I got to tell you, one is way better, boys. Um, ours is way better, I think. He's 20 years of age. Well, they're kind of the same, actually. Two low top nines, boys. Actually, no, the, the Turgeon is better because it's a medium top nine, but whatever. We're getting them a fourth line in Turgeon. We're getting a Lipanov, Alexei Lipanov, boys, 20 years, 21 years of age. He's never going to play in our team, but uh, it's just a prospect that's going to be able to help out in our AHL team. So we're getting that, and that's about it. That's the only trade we needed to do. So go to roster moves, boys. Go to center position, and I guess now what we can do is uh, get Nielsen in there, and Nielsen's going to be able to play. There we go. He's going to be able to play, boys, uh, as a death forward. Now let's do the edit lineups. I think I'm done with the lineups, boys. So this is the last thing I'm going to show you before ending the video. In the next video, where of course. We're gonna start the simulation of the season, of the third season. Uh, season. So, our first line is gonna look like that for now. Um, we got Panarin, we got Ecker and Menta. 
Um, so basically, all three of them are first liners. Now, of course, Ecker and Menta basically have to play in the first line. They're both medium elites, so they need to play in the first line. Panarin, I could move him down if it ever comes down to it. So he's a sniper. And Menta is a power forward, so we've got the one who's going to be doing the passes and Ecker. And Panarin's going to be scoring goals, boys. So we've got a great lineup right there. Uh, Svechnikov is a sniper. We, uh, do we have we don't have anybody really that's going to be able to protect so let's see what we got we've got Svechnikov he's a sniper but in the NHL he was more of a pass or an assistman so he's a, an assistman Larkin he's an assistman as well and Eberle he's, um, he's an assistman so th all three of them are assistments yeah, that might be complicated. That might be complicated, boys. This guy's a medium top nine. I want to try to grow uh, Ferk, boys. I want to try to grow uh, the, uh, him. So, Eberly, it's going to have to stay that way for a while, boys. I don't want to change the lineups unless I really need to. Uh, Glendening uh, is a right wing. I'm playing him instead of Rasmussen in this uh, third line position. Uh, the reason is... Glennon is actually pretty good in the face-off anyways, so he's really good as a centerman. We've got the power forward right, right here, so we could actually just end up putting Abdul Kader in there instead of Eberle, boys, and make Eberle play less time than he should be playing. Don't know if we should do that, though. And um, because Glendening is playing well, he's good. But Glendening is a two-way four, so we can't put him up. Got to stay where he is. And Bertuzzi, basically Bertuzzi, Veleno, and Rasmussen is our young line, boys. Is our young lion line right here, where all three of them needs to be play uh, needs to play in the fourth line in order to grow the right way. Especially these two, since these two are top sixes. I really want to grow them up. Uh, top nines, I don't really care too much about top nines, boys, if I don't play them the right way. But it's really important for the top six and the elites that I play them exactly where they need to be playing. So I can probably move up uh, Ferk if I wanted to to the second line, boys, or Abdul Kader. But if I want to, like, make Abdul Kader grow a little bit, boys... Uh, Night of the if I want to make like Larkin grow even more since he's a medium top six and Svechnikov as well we've got like two passers in here we kind of need a score actually we kind of need a score and Eberle is not the score is uh, Abdul Kader is a power forward so he's not going to do too much he does score goals Ferg does he score it says he's a sniper but he's an assistman as well so yeah, I'm gonna keep it as it is. This is these are gonna be my lineups for the NHL. Um, the defense was gonna be Petriangelo with Shara boys, Cholowski, which he needs to stay where he is. He's a medium top four, so he needs to stay there. He's gonna play there with the Kaiser as a def the defensive defenseman, so he's really gonna help him out defensively. And Sulak's gonna be playing with Ronek this. It's going to be rough. Maybe. No, actually it's not. Because they complement the, each other well. Ronek, which is a deaf defenseman. It's not supposed to be playing there. But we don't have a choice. To, due to lack of defensemen. So he's going to be playing with Sulak. Which is another top six. High top six. Playing right in his position. He's defensive defenseman. So if I play my cards well, boys. Everybody um, is going to play great. And they're going to grow perfectly fine. We're going to have a bunch of prospects. And a good problem for next year when everybody's like, we got a bunch of players who are ready. And it like third forward, second forward, like second line, third line. They're all going to be there. It's going to be pretty complicated. We've got Pumpol, Olmstrom, and Brand Blend Easy for the AHL. We've got these players right here. So a bunch of, not really any prospects as you can see. Uh, we've got Stewart right here. Noth nothing really. Uh, here's a prospect we went, we got basically from Tampa Bay, which is Lipanov. So he's playing there. And we've got Atcher, 
right here, which is our lower late boys in the fourth round we picked up. 55 overall we gotta play him in the ahl as i told you guys basically uh the lows the lows we gotta basically play them so l, l he's playing with elson and zabloki i don't know if it's gonna work out for him but uh, we got enough first pass back and meet him top nine right there that we can remember to grow a deal a daily and zari jar zari jarvi we're gonna play together uh, zari jarvi He's kind of a top four, but low. He's not a big, big prospect. Lidstrom. These are kind of the same as him, so they're not going to be too much. Uh, these are the ones I we need to take a look at. They're, they shouldn't be playing together just because they don't complement each other well. There's a two-way defenseman with an offensive defenseman. Hopefully, Lampman can somehow play well defensively enough so that he protects this one Peterson because 47 overall is going to be rough for him in the AHL boys but I don't have a choice and Brent uh, not Brandon Pross uh, Malachi Pross boys our medium franchise goaltender is going to be the starter he's going to be our starter for the AHL hopefully he has a great year so he can grow really fast and Kate Kate Pitt of course is growing pretty fast as well Gonna be our backup so this is gonna be our team this year boys hopefully we're gonna be playing well hopefully we're gonna have a great year and uh that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed the video we'll see you guys for the next one remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video keep it easy boys